The same spirit that makes us to judge people, condemn them, broadcast their mistakes, and feel that uh, we are the judge and we are better than them, whereas we can do no better if we are in the same shoe in which they are. That same spirit makes us to think that when we fail, they are the reason for our failure. We tend to blame other people for every mistake we make. Every time we fall, every time we fail, every time we fall short, we always look for somebody to blame. And that is what happened to our father, Adam. When he ate the fruit and God came, he said, no, God, it is the woman. Why do we always want to shift the blame on some other people? Good morning. You're welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga, as usual, the God of all flesh, your father, my father, the, the almighty God put a word in my mouth this morning to speak to you in order to encourage you, to bless you, to motivate you, to inspire you. And I pray this morning, as you listen to the sound of my voice, the almighty God himself is going to bless you, is going to bring to you all the things that you need in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be stranded. You will go forward in the name of Jesus. God will connect you with the things that you need, with the people that you need, so that you will succeed. God will teach you to know what to do at every junction and at every point in time. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Today, I just want to talk a bit. I want to continue from where I stopped yesterday. I am talking about the blaming game. The blaming game is an unconscious game that we play. When we see somebody who has fallen short of whatever, the first thing we do is that we blame. We love to blame people. We love to, to, to talk as if we are better. Whereas many times when we are in their situation, we do the worst. And that is why I want you to listen very carefully. One of the reasons for real failure is blaming. When you make a mistake, the first thing you want to do, you want to look at somebody beside you and blame. When there is no money in your pocket, it is very, very quick to blame. Many people blame the society. Many people blame the government. Many people blame their family, their father, their mother. They say it's because my father is not rich. They say it's because my mother did not send me to school. They say it's because my father and my mother, they separated, they divorced. They always find somebody or something to blame. They blame their friend for not inviting them to do the exam. They blame their father for not paying their school fees. They blame everybody. Let me tell you, if you are one of those people that is playing the blaming game, you will never succeed in your life. Successful people have nobody to blame but themselves. When they fail, they look at the reason why they fail. They don't look at somebody to blame. Everyone that is looking at somebody to blame, we always find a reason to continue to fail. But when you see that your failure is not caused by somebody, your failure must have been due to one negligence or the other on your part, and your attempt to look at that negligence and face it up squarely will make you to succeed. When people look at their failure and accept the responsibility for failing, they will learn the valuable lesson that they needed to learn. In the next time, they don't fall into that mistake again and eventually they succeed. I have never seen somebody who blames everybody for his failure who succeeded in life. They always fail. They sit in abject poverty, blaming somebody. If you are one of those people that love to blame somebody, let me tell you, even if you have achieved something, it may go away because everyone that blames cannot take responsibility. The first principle of success is taking responsibility. 
Even let me tell you, even when somebody causes you to fail, you don't blame them. You blame yourself. Why did I allow them to motivate me and to cause me to fail? Why did I surrender leadership to them? Why did I surrender leadership to somebody who made me to fail? It's not their fault. It's my fault. You see, when you begin to see things from your own perspective, your success will begin. Creative intelligence and creative ability comes to somebody who is ready to take the blame. And that is why every leader who succeeds in life takes the blame for failure in his organization and is ready to share the glory with everybody in the organization. A successful leader takes the blame and shares the glory. You see? When you are ready to take the blame, you are ready to face it. And when you are ready to face it, you are ready to conquer. And when you are ready to conquer, you are already a success. Face it, don't blame. Fix it, never blame. Stop blaming somebody. Don't blame your mother. Don't blame your father. Don't blame the society. Don't blame the government. Let me tell you. The same government that is causing your failure is making other people successful. The same economy that produced you as a failure has produced other people as millionaires. You don't have an excuse. The government is not an excuse. The society is not an excuse. Your family is not an excuse. Your husband is not an excuse. Your wife is not an excuse. Let me tell you, many wives blame their mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law is not an excuse for your failure in marriage. This is the truth. When you blame other people, no matter where you go, you can never succeed until you stop blaming other people, until you start looking at yourself and see the reason why you allow yourself to fail. Some people carry their blaming game even to God. They say, God, but why did you make me like this? You didn't give me intelligence. You didn't give me strong body. You didn't give you. Why didn't you make me to come from America? If I, if I was an American, I would have been a success. Look, you can never succeed as an American if you cannot succeed as an African. Sussex is not, I've said it. Sussex is not in the, in the color of your skin. Understand this. This is important and crucial. And this is where I'm going to stop today. You are able to listen and hear this message because of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenunga. God bless our partners in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you once again for listening. Please rebroadcast this to somebody close to you. Rebroadcast this to everyone in your mailing list. And God will bless you for that. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. I really appreciate you. If you got this from any platform and you're on WhatsApp, you want this on your WhatsApp on a daily basis, just save my number plus 27740302381. Save it right now. Go to your WhatsApp. Just send me the message. Add me. When I see the message, add me. I will add you from tomorrow. You will continue to receive this message for as long as I live. It's a daily thing. Thank you so much. Partners, God bless you. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.